So here we have a Sound King Digital Reverb 20 Watt Amp. We will do some tones through this PRS SE Pools guitar and we will come to some overall conclusions on this amp. The real kicker with this guitar amp is that it's got an effects loop, which is crazy at this super budget level. We'll test that out later and we'll see what it's like. You can tell that they were likely going for that kind of British Marshall style amp, that's for sure. It's a budget amp that is good for home use and has a relatively decent sized speaker. The speaker size is about six inches. You can see it has the depth master there, which controls your overdrive. You've got a button to switch that on. You've got your clean channel volume. You've got your treble middle bass. You've got your presence and you've got an extra reverb, which is kind of an interesting sound. Wait until you hear that. Obviously you've got your headphone socket there and you've got your power. And rather helpfully, you do have a little fuse there. So you can change it if something hideous goes wrong. The amp weighs in at a relatively heavy weight for a small amp, around about eight kilograms. Without further ado, we'll get into some sounds and then we'll do some overall thoughts. <laughs>
So let's check out that effects loop. What I've done is I've plugged in my MVAVE Universe effects pedal into the back of this and we will see what it sounds like. So my overall thoughts are, this is not a bad practice amp at all. These days it's secondhand, extremely cheap, so it's worth investigating. It's got a decent metal sound. It's got a decent clean sound. I would suggest probably kind of getting pedals with it. The reverb is a very interesting effect. It's almost a bit like a spring reverb. It's kind of between a reverb and a delay, which is interesting if that's what you like. When you start piling on the presence and the reverb plus the overdrive, it gets a lot very quickly. So probably it's best to go around that and tweak those settings a bit. Playing with the EQ settings makes a bit of difference. You can get a bit of a warmer sound, but overall I would say this is quite a brash in your face amp if that's what you're looking for. Um, one thing that is worth noting on this amp as well, which if I put my guitar to one side, I will show you. Um, is that it does have it does have an effects loop here so you've got your send and return so that's actually quite a nice little feature on this amp given that it is quite a small um, you know practice amp and not many practice amps at this kind of level have that kind of feature so I think that's quite cool actually to have that um, included so it's got a bit of versatility in there as well. I think it get a little bit on the harsh side if you really push all the settings back small and fair, you can tweak those down and get something a little bit warmer. So overall, not a bad amp. Thanks, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.